back everyone. So today we're going to try bumper crop from Hot Butcher for the world. Thank you to Hot Butcher for sending this. I will leave a link to their website down below if you want to go check them out. Uh, so this one, Michigan Copper and Mosaic Hot Phantasm uh, American Pale Ale, 6% ABV. Now, I don't believe anybody said anything but I think I said something about Phantasm Hops or whatever in the last one. And I couldn't, I had no clue what they are because it always says plus. And usually if they say hops, they, you know, put commas and and signs and all that stuff. So looking on the interwebs, um, it says it's not a hop, but it's made to... Uh, Okay, sorry. So I did look it up, and for whatever reason, it went off. But Phantasm is not a hop. Uh, it says, but it's made to accentuate our favorite tropical hop characteristics by adding more... Um, sorry, it went dead. Um, so... Phantasm is not a hop. Uh, it is made to uh, insinu insinu accentuate. Sorry, phone went dead. Uh, so, Phantasm hops are to help insinuate uh, your our favorite tropical hop characteristics. So, I've never heard of that before. Uh, so, we're going to get into this and see how it is. Uh, package on 928. Uh, today is Halloween, so 1031. Um, Hot Butcher does put a stamp on the back or a hop on the back with a couple tasting notes, smells, all that, three of them. So, we will try and hit that. Uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, out of all the beers I've had, I do not like copper hops. So, this could be an interesting one. And I actually, what was it, two? Was it two years ago? Last year. Last year, um, I tried to get some, and I couldn't. And I don't know why. I know uh, one of um, my son's baseball friends, their parents, uh, have a hop orchard. If that's what you want to call it, hop farm. Um, and they were going to get it and they went to get it and there were none left. Uh, so I was going to try and get them fresh so I could do like a wet hop beer and dry some and do that. But I couldn't do that. Um, off, off white colored head, small and medium bubbles in there. From that pour, about a finger and a half. Bubbles on the side are spread apart like bubble wrap. So because we know what Phantasm are, um, I'm guessing we're going to get tropical fruit. Uh, yellow, orangish in color, somewhat hazy, or I should say a lot hazy, a little, a little lighter down in here. Uh, American Pale Ale, is that what they're calling this? Yeah, uh, I could see that. Uh, from just how it is in other hot butcher beers, I would say this one is more watered down. So yeah, I could see that. So let's go ahead and smell. That dankness has to be f coming from the copper hops. Uh, I do get like a, a, a sweeter tropical fruit in there, but I also think there's some citrus, citrus rind bitterness coming through. I want to say like a passion fruit guava, something like that because of that stinky foot that I'm kind of getting from this. Lime, maybe? Yeah, it smells okay. Let's go ahead and taste. What is that? Oh. 
I would still say like a very sweet passion fruit, but there's something else in there. It, it is a lighter body than what it looks like. So I would say pale ale, yes, but 6%, that seems like maybe they're drawing out more of the sugar to up the ABV so the body's a little lighter. Um, bitterness and stinky foot, kind of perceived bitterness is kind of high. I would say 30. What is that? I know I've had it. Obviously, I've had Michigan Copper Hops. There's like a, a dankness, almost like a passion fruit, stinky foot dankness, a uh, little sweetness, a little tropical fruit in there. Nice and smooth, though. Hmm. I'm trying to think what they would put on the back of this. Pleasant dankness, pleasant dank, sweet tropical. What is the third one going to be? Something citrus, lime. Something lime. That's what I'm going with. Uh, on this one, I would go four out of five. Let's, oh. Here, let's pour the rest in here and taste real quick just to make sure we're not missing anything. I still get that dankness, like that passion fruit, dirty foot dankness. Yeah, still the same. Pleasant Pine. Juicy Fruit Punch, Zesty Lime. Okay, so uh, I didn't get the Pleasant Pine. I said Pleasant Dank. Um, I got the Lime, and I would say I got the Juicy Tropical Fruit, but they're saying Fruit Punch um, in here. Yeah, not bad at all. I'm going to have to start putting like a hop in what the hop things are because now I want to look it up. But I just did that in the last review and I don't want to mess with it now. But yeah, I would say four out of five on this one. I think some people will be turned away, at least in my opinion, from that dankness that you're getting out of it. Um, it's not a lot, but it's enough to coat your mouth. Like you're, it almost makes me think my breath is really going to stink from this one. Let's go ahead and check untapped. Did I not look this one up? See, I was in such a hurry, I never looked this one up. Let's see if it comes up. There we go. Uh, New England uh, IPA Hazy Pale Ale. I would go more pale ale than New England IPA 6%, like I said. Uh, none of my friends have had it. Uh, almost a thousand people have checked it in. Uh, 4.09. Um, smooth, hazy, grapefruity, dry stone fruit. Let's see if anybody actually comments. Surprisingly juicy and piney. Maybe I'm getting piney and dank mixed up. I would say that's more dank. I mean, you're talking about a pale ale or a hazy pale ale. It shouldn't be piney, but I could see why they're doing that. But yeah, definitely one to pick up and try if you haven't had a uh, beer like this with those Michigan Copper Hops or Phantasm. Uh, I'm guessing it's a powder. I could be wrong. But if you enjoyed this video, check some more out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.